Race View Network's Weekend Wrap-Up, sponsored by I'm a Fancy PYC and Oklahoma Equine Reproductive Center. Hi, I'm Jim Byers, and welcome to Race View Network's Weekend Wrap-Up. The weekend before Christmas was rather quiet in quarter horse racing, but we do have a grade one derby to show you, as well as a rich futurity from Louisiana. Let's get started at Evangeline Downs, where Saturday's closing night program offered five stakes, including the $214,650 Evangeline Downs Futurity. A field of 10 faced the starter at 400 yards. Number 10, Quite Riot, was the fastest qualifier and second choice at 5 to 2, with the four Zoom and Baby, the 2 to 1 favorite. Zoom and Baby came away fast. Zoom and Baby in front. Toward the outside, he's a dash and by. Back to the inside, just cutting up quick. And Gaga's toast to Bliss. Zoom and Baby, quite riot, is trying to kick it into gear from the far side. But Zoom and Baby's the one they're going to have to catch. Zoom and Baby, just cutting up quick, right to the outside. Zoom and Baby wins. Zoom and Baby improves to four for five lifetime, with those wins coming consecutively, starting with a maiden claiming score in June at Delta Downs. John Hamilton, the jockey. Zoom and Baby is a Texas bred gelding by Jess Zuman out of the Royal Quick Dash Mare Royal Baby Sister. The winner was bred by Jackie Sessions and was a $13,500 Heritage Place yearling purchase on behalf of owner Craig Love. Michael Heath Taylor is the trainer as Zoom and Baby ups his earnings to $122,625. Time for the winner, 19.542 seconds, a 102 speed index. Los Alamitos wrapped up its winter thoroughbred dates on Sunday, and with that, the quarter horses once again became the only show at Los Al. On Sunday, the feature was the Grade 1 Southern California Derby. The purse is $145,850 and the distance 400 yards. A pair of runners went off at exactly $2.70 to one. Number one, Trace Pescado, and number 10, Quirky. Trace Pescado came away well. Also right there down the middle part of the track comes Quirky on the far outside trying to close in as well as Jimmy James as Quirky has his mind on running and so does Trace Piscato down on the inside but it's Quirky shifting directions going to crush the field. Quirky super super impressive. Tight photo. She was second to the fastest qualifier in the trials but Quirky draws away here and does it while moving inward several lanes as California bred takes the derby under Carlos Huerta. Quirky is an Edward Allred homebred by Stel Corona out of Don't Pass Bar, who's by a regal choice. Quirky has earned more than $185,000 while finishing in the money in eight of ten career outings. She's trained by James Glenn Jr. Trace Pescado finished a nose better than Dynasty of Habits for second. The time, 19.754 seconds. I'm a fancy PYC. He earned $454,000 plus, qualified to the All-American Futurity, started six times and won five, including the Grade 3 Remington Futurity. I'm a fancy PYC at Oklahoma Equine Reproductive Center. On Sunday at Turf Paradise, Mackey's Wagon got into the holiday spirit by winning the Dashing All the Way Stakes and setting a new 100-yard track record in the process, 6.413 seconds. Owned by Ricardo Biebrick and trained by Roy Ronquillo, Mackey's Wagon has won three of four starts during the current meeting at the Phoenix, Arizona track. All in stakes competition. Jockey Emilio Tapia has been aboard for all four. Right now, let's return to Los Alamitos and Evangeline Downs for a few more stakes recaps from the past weekend.
Race View Network's Weekend Wrap-Up, sponsored by I'm a Fancy PYC at Oklahoma Equine Reproductive Center. That about does it for this week's show. Thanks for spending some of your time with us as we bring you quarter horse racing's biggest races and fastest horses. I'm Jim Byers. From the entire staff and crew to all of our viewers worldwide, we hope you have a happy holiday season and a Merry Christmas. See you next time on Raceview Network's Weekend Wrap-Up.